and uh, thank you for coming today. Welcome to the wonderful city of Leeds. I think the greatest atmosphere in British boxing. You're about to see it live and up close this Saturday night for World Championship Triple Header live on the zone. Around 12,000 people getting ready to see if Josh Warrington can become a two time world champion against reigning IBF world champion Kiko Martinez from Spain. Welcome to everybody here. We've got a tremendous fight card this weekend, of course. Less than two weeks off the back of one of the greatest nights I think we've ever seen in British boxing when Lee would have been Michael Condon in the 12th round in Nottingham, coming off the back of another thrilling show in San Diego when Chocolatito beat Julio Cesar Martinez. And coming up, the action just doesn't stop. Of course, in a couple of weeks, Gennady Golovkin will attempt to unify the middleweight division against Murata in Japan, live on the zone. Conor Ben returns to the Manchester Arena against Van Heerden. Katie Taylor will headline at Madison Square Garden for the undisputed World Championship against Amanda Serrano. And the week after, Canelo Alvarez will challenge Dimitri Bivol for the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. All live on the zone, the unrivaled global home of boxing. But first, it's Leeds for a lot of fun. And we're ready to talk to all the fighters up here and on the table below us as well. As I said, a great undercard on Saturday. I'm going to start with maybe right, Marley. This is a big fight for you to Matrix, a rematch, a draw last time out. Firstly, I want to say, major professional debut at Heading League. Look at a million dollars. Second fight, a draw over four rounds. A rematch for you on Saturday. You have to put this right. Yeah, 100%. Um, I'm ready for this one. Last time out, that was an amazing uh, It's made you too lovely this time. I'm going to put on a spectacular performance. Um, I'm not sure how many rounds I'm doing this time. Four, six, I'm not, not making it go the distance. So. Obviously, the professional debut was at Heading League, huge stadium fight, which was difficult to do. The next fight, you know, in more humble surroundings as well, but can't afford any mistakes on Saturday. Uh, not slip ups, um, you'll see what I'm about this time around. You saw it in Heading League, um, I was fast, accurate, um, and my opponent didn't want to know. Um, he's going to be over for a rude awakening this time around. Um, I've been traveling, inspiring, I've been in um, all the rounds, and I've been doing all the right work. Um, in the team, in the gym, we've been working on technical stuff. Um, enjoying the stuff and I uh, can't see what you're going to do to stop it this time. Got well, Marley, good luck. Nice to meet you on Saturday night. Corey O'Reilly, Corey, welcome. 5 and 0. Big show for you to be a part of, of course. Expecting an incredible atmosphere. Big moment for you and, and looking forward to performing on Saturday. Yeah, obviously, the yeah. um, stage is a big stage, so I want to put more performance. Look good in front of them. Like, it's my home crowd as well, isn't it? That's the thing, so yeah, I'm like, what's the preparation stuff for this one's been, has been ideal really, I mean, that's far adult in the back stage, you know what I mean, so we've all been in um, some good spas, so I'm glad I made this one of the performance. And obviously the man up here is my left, Josh Warrington, carrying boxing in his city for a number of years now, looking forward to getting a win for yourself and, and sitting back and watching Josh try and become a two-time world champion. Well, as yeah, as always, it's going to be a, a fast shot. Um, but yeah, get my out of the way and then, and then I get a sit back and watch some, some good boxing as well from, from not just Josh, but everyone on this card. Thanks, Corey. We'll talk about great amateurs, Callum French, one of the best amateurs GB's produced for many, many years. Um, great day last time out in Liverpool, Callum 1 0. I know you enjoyed that so much. I heard you on the live stream saying you couldn't stop smiling when you were bring walking there for your debut. And uh, good performance against a oh, tough opponent and ready to go 2 0 on Saturday. Hi, hi. Um, thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Matt, for getting us on uh, that massive card. Um, and these are the cards you dream about being on and coming to the amateurs. But yeah, it was a good day for you. I was pleased with it. Um, a good tune of the motion. Um, there was no ball to lie. It was, uh, it was in there fighting. Um, it was a good, a good matchup for me, Eddie. But it was uh, as yes. active as possible this year. Yeah, and uh, push on and get as much experience as I can. Yeah, obviously with your amateur experience, you've got so much time and you've boxed around the world in different countries. You feel that you can move a little bit faster. I know it's important to be active as well, but we saw you start really fast in that fight, very aggressive as well early on, and you got straight into the group. Yeah, yeah, I don't see um, why I need to be held back much at all, to be honest. I obviously just take it one fight at a time, um, looking past no one, um, especially on Saturday night when I get this job done. But, um, I'm sure we need a new northeast star, so much sell out there and, and arenas up in Newcastle. And I'll leave on the job. 
And of course, valuable rounds with Connor Ben for this camp as well. Obviously, by placing Chris Van Heer in the South Pole, a good experience down at Simsy Gym sparring Connor Ben in preparation for this fight. I had priceless experience for um, this fight me through that fight, see with me only having one fight, uh, Connor being on the verge of uh, world titles now. Um, it's an um, unbelievable experience, um, not just sparring with him, but like, he was picking us up on the hotel. And um, spending the week with them, seeing how he trains, how he eats, how he rests up, how he sleeps and stuff. It's um, all, all that, um, all that help is in my, um, my experience with them. Look forward to seeing action on Saturday night, Callum French, one of the top young professional stars now in this country and the world. That's how we call the Bell section live on the Zone Boxing YouTube around the world, the Matrix Boxing YouTube as well. We go to the main broadcast, opening up Sky Nicholson against Beck Connolly. Beck, firstly, over to you. You are always ready to fight. You, you sent me a direct message, I think, what, a week ago saying, if Sky Nicholson needs an opponent, I'm ready. I've been training, always ready to go and uh, ready to give it your all on another big TV show this weekend. Yeah, I love a scrapper. Yeah, just there was no role for me, so as far as I'm concerned, I went out and got what I wanted and created my own role for myself because I was never going to be a walkover and I, I'm not the elite, but the people turning over, if they want to get to the top, they've got to come through and get you, but I've made that job role for myself now and I'm going to keep it for a few years. Uh, some of the defeats you've suffered you know, have been coming at late notice. So I remember, I think, I remember it was. Uh, the Brown Rally fight. All these, uh, you've fought so many great fights for Ebony, you boxed um, also Eddie Scott in her debut as well. You've had to sort of fight some of late notes, but you obviously had another fight prepared in a couple of weeks' time. You're fit, you're ready, and facing a very, very good fighter in Sky Nichols to fresh off a US debut. But you understand the sport now, now, but still a very, very dangerous challenge for any prospect. Oh, absolutely. And that's it. We are on training anyway. I'd train even if I wasn't boxing. I love training. And um, yeah, I have taken quite a few fights on a day's notice because I do stay ready and I do love what I do. And uh, I've, yeah, some things have got in the way and I've made some mistakes with some opportunities I've had, but I'm not going to let that stop me. And uh, I'll keep the smile on my face and keep trying until the day that I retire. Well, the words know you come to fight, everyone. I'd love to see you in action. So I welcome to your UK debut after a fantastic American debut just three weeks ago. It's been a bit of a whirlwind. Um, you're lucky enough to fight in San Diego now. You're really not lucky enough to fight in Leeds as well. Looking forward to your second profile this week. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I promised the fans I was going to be out here that um, I'm definitely going to that. Three weeks out. Back in. Last time in San Diego, I can't deny it. Myself, Eddie Dan, and a lot of people. Big concerned about going to San Diego, fighting a three hour opponent from San Diego with a huge Mexican crowd there as well. But very calm, very relaxed, won every round, and, and a great experience. Yeah, I, I have confidence in my ability, and I know what I'm capable of, and, and I want to test myself against the best. So, um, yeah, I'm going to keep putting my hand up to fight the best girls. This time, a different kind of opponent, like Beck said, almost like a gatekeeper to all these prospects coming through. Some slip up against her as well, but a very, very tough opponent, someone that you're expecting to do rounds against as well. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm expecting a tough fight. I know Beck comes to fight, and um, she's no pushover, so uh, I'm just focusing on having a good performance and showing everyone a side of me that I haven't seen yet. Good to see fight number two at uh, the weekend against Beck Conley. This is a, a great, great fight. Shorten Smith against Ray Mollet, WBC International uh, Super Lightweight Championship on the line. A really, really good fight. Two outstanding amateurs. Ray Mollet, European gold medalist, world champion, as well as an amateur. Already got plenty of professional experience. Jordan Smith, in my eyes, one of the best prospects in world boxing. In fact, I don't think we call him a prospect anymore. Already signed for championship fights, ready to go and fight for the British side as well. But Ray Mollet stands in the way. Paddy and all the team, Pascal, sorry, Pascal Collins. <laughs> well, we can call you Paddy as well. That's right. And uh, he's been asking for a shot for Ray Mollet for a long, long time. Ray, you've got it. Tough fight against Dawg Smith, but a fight a lot of people are very excited about. Eddie, for myself, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, as long as I'm natural, Frank Smith, and thank you for as well. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've been reaching out to Matchroom for a long time because Matchroom is, is, is the benchmark for boxing, especially in, in England and Ireland. So, 
I'm just grateful to have the opportunity and I was in the position to take it and I really want it. A lot of people felt that when you turned professional, you know, you were a future world champion in the white teams as well. You've been looking for opportunities and only one defeat on the record. I know it could have gone either way that fight as well, but this is a massive moment for you. Victory on Saturday night would, would put you in the top 15 in the world rankings as well. Likely give you continued action on, on the TV platforms as well. It's a, it's a golden chance for your career. Of course, and you know, we, we all started boxing years ago and it was a dream to fight fight on the big show with the big cards and thank you I have an opportunity now to do that but you know I've, I've been on the couch for the last three years and then I came and I, I sidelined a lot of boxers I didn't have the, the back end but thankfully I kept myself in shape and kept myself ready and kept myself in a position that when the opportunity came I knew you'd come call at some stage but I, I didn't think it'd take three years on the couch to get to the call but thankfully it did and I was ready for it so you know, I've been, I travelled the world with, with, with the Irish team, I was a top amateur as well, um, as Dalton was. So, I've, I've been around boxing for a long time, I've been in the ring with, you know, Vince and Dalton, I've been in the ring with better lads than them, I've been better lads than them. Um, I'm here as an opponent for Dalton on paper, but in reality, I, put, I, I won the lotto when I got the opportunity to fight on because I was expecting to get a much harder fight on one of your shows and I'm delighted that you give me the opportunity as an opponent but I'm not really the opponent at the end of the day I'm just, I'm just coming off the couch and ready to take over You said he's the best prospect to our boss and what? I'm ready to change that on Saturday night Really believe you win this fight on Saturday? I wouldn't take it otherwise Eddie really. I was offered three or four fights with other matchmakers I know my abilities, I know my levels, I know my limits and I didn't take them fights. I rather stay on I rather stay on the sideline and uh, pretend that I could blame COVID and blame this, but I knew I wasn't able to beat them less and that's that's the truth about it. Um, but you gave me the opportunity to fight this man, I took it. So it's only one reason. I I have three years very inactive on the on the fight scene, not training. Um, my career is, was at a standstill. I'd be daft not to take this fight if I can win. And it's just, it's just a stuff of dreams, really, that I can do it on the big show and a big carrot in front of all the amazing fans here. Well, good luck to you, Ray. Right? Go on, Tim. I like the way he talks. You know, we've got a real fight on Saturday. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted for a long time. Even after a very, very short professional career, yourself, STN, Sean, or everybody wanted to move you quicker than we anticipated. By far the toughest to fight of your career this week. Of course, and you know, obviously, my last couple of fights now have been stepped up, and you know, that these are the fights we've been asking for and for the more titles, and um, obviously, the, the fight what originally was made that, that got, um, you know, that fell through, so then we got asked for a bit more of so we looked at it. And, he said, yeah, he's a perfect opponent for, you know, for, my, for my next fight, so I know what we're about, he knows what I'm about. You know, we've, we know most of the game, you know, we've been around the world in the amateur games, we've experienced it. He's probably, he's fought some, I bet all the, every style he's out there, you know, some of the, the great names who came through the amateurs, and you know, this is a 12 one as a professional, so he's, he's not got a pad of record, the same as I am. You know, we, we haven't achieved what we've achieved by, you know, playing at the game. So, Jalen, we, we, we're two top, top fighters who's going to gonna, gonna head for the, for the title on, on Saturday night. So, it'll be a great fight. It's going to be a very entertaining force. When you turn professional, you probably didn't get the, the huge amateur wins that, and accomplishments that many thought you might. And you may have gone slightly under the radar, but as a pro, particularly people in boxing, talking about you very, very highly. Do you feel the pressure to not just win on Saturday, but, but look very good doing it? There's always going to be pressure on a, on a prospect who, who comes up because it's, it's high hopes on them, but you know, I'm confident in my abilities. I know I know the level where I'm going to get at, and this is just a stepping stone for me. Because he raised, raised no uh, easy opponent. You know, it's, it's a tough challenge, but I've got a Saturday night, but I've got to bring something more than what I have in you know, my previous nine fights as a professional, and you know, you're going to see that. Well, I don't want to start any trouble with Ray. He'd say that you're a stepping stone, just so that you know. 
course, but it seems that they have to be described. That's that no way in here. The French Smith gave me the fight because I'm a stepping stone. But I was at the top level three years ago, we could say, but I haven't got the call to find out your prospects because maybe you were fighting, maybe you weren't, but I never got the call. I got the call now because I'm inactive yeah. on the record. And that's it. That's why I got the call. So happy enough for your prospect, happy enough for your stepping stone. And that's for giving you a shot. Good. Well, thank you for taking the call. Thank you for accepting yeah, the challenge. Look forward to a great fight, Dawn Smith, Ray Malek, WBC International title on Saturday night. We go to the top table. Um, one fight I just cannot wait for on Saturday. I've listened to both of these guys speak yesterday. Uh, Maxi Hughes, the Cinderella man, I guess, is a British boxer right now. The IBO world champion against Ryan Walsh, long-standing. British champion at featherweight moves up and looks so, so comfortable at lightweight. Ryan, I guess, must be quite strange for you sitting here one day out from the way in with a huge smile on your face. Yes, you really right. enjoying the lightweight division, really enjoying the challenge and ready for a great fight on Saturday. Definitely really enjoying not being hungry. Thirsty and um, yeah, just the usual stuff that I think all I care about is what we're doing. It's very early to me. I heard you yesterday talking about your desire to have a, a great fight with Maxi Hughes, a war with Maxi Hughes. Is that, you know, a little bit of that, a little bit of mind games and gamesmanship to draw him in to that kind of fight? We know that very good technician Maxi Hughes and box extremely well against Strathon as well. Is that the kind of fight you want? You talked about the Wood Condon fight and how much you enjoyed it. You said you're ready, you're ready for a fight like that on Saturday. That, that's exactly it. If any of the fighters up here haven't seen that fight, you need to watch it. It's inspiring, and I do, I do call to Maxi. You showed it when you called Saffron that you've got that in you. It's not a natural thing for you. You're a surfer. Natural surfers like to go where. So I'm, I'm calling that for you. I'm begging you. I'll stand in the middle of the ring. Let's give it. Let's give it. Let's give it a couple of times. So uh, and I won't lose. I beckon to you to to bring in your warrior. Let's see. Let's see it's a warrior card. Because. No one's fought me yet, and not for a sustained period. Even the two that beat me, they haven't fought me. So I call that to you, Maxi. You want to fight? You want to? You want to? You want to inspire everyone else? I was inspired by Conan. I was inspired by Lee Wood. You do not want all, all my intentions are to pay the mortgage off. <laughs> and it's that's smart. Win. See, that's smart. That's the same point I made. That's smart, and I agree with you. But I haven't had a fight yet. I haven't been close to a fight yet. And you've been. You've just been nominated for one of the boxers of the year. Let's do it, you know? But well, why not? We've got 12 rounds, and there is a long time, and a fight will break out. But when it does, I just don't want you running away, you know? Let's have a fight. Let's entertain the people. There's 11,000 people there. Let's make them. We can make them. We can entertain them. We can make them make more noise. If you like Robbie Williams, let me entertain them. Let me do it again. That's a chance. I'm going to entertain with these. That's all I've ever, ever tried to do is entertain with these. I'm not a big fan with, with the mouth, but I do. I call that funny. I call it, you know, you're the champion, man. I'm coming to get that off you. We all know that's the obvious thing. But then, how are you going to defend that? How are you going to be able to defend yourself running? Come on, fight. Come on, fight. Let's, let's have a fight. I mean, boxing is what we do, but there is an opportunity to have a fight, and I'm, I'm more than ready. Right, we know that Maxi, one of the nicest guys in British boxing, but he did say that he was going to end your career, like the end of your brother's career as well. Am I just talking that up? Is there any part of you that, that wants to overcome that defeat? It's, it's, it's a good story, but that's not right. Liam won that fight. And, and, it, and as far as ending Liam's career, he was far at the start of this. So you, you're asking again how, that, how his career did come to an end. And I think Maxi should have a lot to thank them for. Because without Covid, he can't be British champion. Without Covid, he can't be the IBO champion. Because he was a... So it's my duty to step in. I'm looking down at Maxi here to, to continue to do that. I don't think it would have happened. They didn't get Covid. I don't think it would have that. And your story's great. I don't take nothing away from it. I can only give you respect for it. But your story doesn't happen if they didn't get Covid. Well, I'm here now. I'm on a with them, so... And in fact, that's it. All credit, all respect. But the story could have been written like that. If, and you could have retired a lot. And you can't retire a lot. It's, it's, it, that's impossible. You say that though, Ryan. The defeat on Saturday, is that the end for Ryan Walsh? I mean, it's a must win for you, isn't it? I haven't even thought about defeat. I've never tried, I've never gone into a fight ever. Believing that the man can beat me. And I've been told that I've got really honest brothers. 
when I fall itself in my group, they won that fight. No, you can't do this, you can't do that. Then when I fought it and, and the end of the performance wasn't good enough, I was beat by the experience, I was beat by the better man, but he understood. Because it was a rain in there, especially the first rain, that I do have the style to beat that man, I just wasn't good enough on that night. And I've made enough mistakes in this sport, so I won't be making the same mistakes with Maxi. Well, Maxi, that escalated quickly. It's all very friendly in this building. <laughs> Is it chicken with Maxi? I've never had a lot done to the test. Well, that's a real fight. Well, yeah, that's what I want. But it wasn't a good one right now, you know what I mean? Like, the last fight we had, our, our massive underdog, uh, I won't put it any other way. Uh, in my mindset, it's the same again. I like that he's here talking. No, only, only text. Things like that to be said like that, where fuckers are watching go, oh, fucking hell, he's up for it. Like, people better change their mods. Um, you know, so and that's how I'll approach it, you know, I'm glad he's up for it because because I've had this fire in my belly. Well, I've, I've had it for a while. Um, but this fight in particular gives me that opportunity, that fire, so I'm glad. I'm glad it's like this. Things are a little bit different now for you. You're kind of like defending your position if you like. Everything was talking about this great story and when will this end? But now you're kind of like one phone call away from changing your life forever. And if you lose on Saturday night that phone call will never come. So all of a sudden, you know, you, you took about obviously now full-time boxer, but there's so much on the line for you. And if you lose to Ryan Walsh, you kind of like everything that you, you've built over the last couple of years doesn't become irrelevant, but you never got the chance to fully capitalise on it. So you can't afford any mistakes on Saturday. No, well, and, and one thing, how I approach every fan, I, I haven't got that mindset, I haven't got that chip on my shoulder. I'm the, I'm the champion, he's got to take my belt. And the way I see it, you know, although I'm the owner of this belt, that belt, that belt can just be vacant, you know, that, that's on the stand there with officials. I've got to go and prove I'm worthy, that I, that I deserve that belt. So that's how I approach it, you know. I have put this pressure on myself and I, and I don't I just approach it as though, you know, that belt's there, they can, I've got to go and claim it, I've got to show I'm worthy of being a, the owner of that belt. And that's, that's how I've prepared. You know, it's, it's great being full time, but I haven't took it for granted because it's took me such a long time to get to be full time. I know what it's like going to work, getting up in the morning, shit weather, you know, and having to squeeze training in, squeeze the run here and there, try and get food on go, but you know, I'm doing it properly now and I appreciate it, not taking it for granted in, in slides. So I know, I know how much it means and you know, I ain't, ain't letting it slip. I'm not here. I said it last time. Press conference last time, I'm not here enjoying it as a fan for a one off to turn up and fight. This is how the rest of is going full time. And finally, he calls for you to stand there and have a war with him and show the warrior code. We want another wood condom. I said earlier to you, you know, yeah. I'm not sure a lot of fighters would want uh, another wood condom, but he wants that kind of fight. We know you'll be under instructions from, from Sean and, and you'll box smart as well, but expecting this fight to be tough in parts as well. Yeah, like Ryan's cast his net out there, he's cast out, but no, I'm, I'm not taking away. No matter how, however the, however the fight goes, I'll do what's necessary to win. However it comes, you know, I'm, I'm fully prepared uh, for, what, for whatever it is. So, you know, just to let me win. Well, well done, that's a tremendous fight. Max and Hughes against Ryan Walsh, IBO, lightweight world title. Big fight for the winner of that one. Another tremendous fight, the IBF. World Bantamweight Championship. Long reigning world champion Cecilia Roman against Australia Ebony Bridges. This is a tremendous, tremendous fight. You can expect absolute fireworks in big, big fight for the division. I'll start with the challenger, Ebony. Welcome. Um, I know you're excited about this fight. A lot of people are as well. And, you know, when we talk about the other fights on the card, of course, Maxi with, with Sean, uh, needing the split and the break in between Josh Warrington. You step up as co main event. A massive, massive opportunity to become a world champion on Saturday. Yeah, absolutely unreal, obviously. And um, to, you know, to be like a pro main event, to be fighting in Leeds, you know, for a world title, um, it's actually, you know, I'm just so, I feel so grateful. And also, you know, obviously, um, Cecilia coming over here and fighting me here. Um, and I'm just so excited about this fight. I've been excited about this fight, we're having uh, this fight with, with Cecilia for, before even the fight happened. You know, I always thought it was gonna be a great fight. I wanted the fight because I knew it was going to be a great fight. As in a fan favorite kind of fight, you know. Um, and obviously having more titles on the line just makes everything even, you know, even more exciting for me. I know you had a great camp for this fight. I mean, Martin, you know, I think a lot of trainers 
especially the old school trainers, you know, Mark obviously and Jimmy look at female boxing sometimes, they're not quite sure, but I've seen the fire in Mark Tibbs, who really wants to win this fight yeah. with you as well. This would be a big moment for him, you two have gelled really well together in camp. Yeah, definitely, you know, I'm going to be over here at the Dream of Camp Eagle, I'm going to find it, it's been amazing, you know, definitely gelled well, and I think I've definitely changed his opinion, or, you know, he's, he's you know, seen how now, we're going to, you know, how we train now on sets, and, um, yeah, I think, you know, obviously a lot of respect in the whole gym and everything, you know, and uh, um, I'm, I'm really excited to, you know, uh, be Mark Tibbs and the Tibbs family's first female world champion, you know, I'm really excited for that, and this fight means everything to me, you know, for me, this fight, um, and becoming a world champion, is like the exclamation mark on my on, on my on this part of my story. Do you know what I mean? Having that belt around my waist, proving that you know you can really set your mind things, you can do it. Just everything that I stand for, having that belt, you know, um, for me is like the final point of it. Like you know, to make that real point, like that being a world champion, like it's a great kind of story. But I think the world champion, being a world champion, is, it means everything to me, and I think it means a lot for like the women out there as well. Um, yeah, obviously winning the belt is changing my life. Like I said that, you know, being a world champion changed my life. And um, I'm really excited for that. Obviously, we saw in the Shannon Courtney fight, you know, we know you're better prepared now, you're yeah. more experienced now as well, but you know, you, you did go deep in that fight, yeah. you, you went to the well, you had a terrible eye injury in that fight as well. People respected the toughness. Ready to do it all again on Saturday night, whatever it takes, ready to go for anything in that ring? Yeah, look, I'm always ready. You know, I've come through a lot of adversity in all of my fights, you know, and for me, um, I don't see me losing this fight, you know, I'm literally going for it all. Um, and I believe it's my time to win this fight, you know. And lo siento, mi español es perfecto para Cecilia y los argentinos, ¿entiendes? Ella es una gran campeona, una gran ayudora también. Y, pero este es mi momento, este es mi casa. Y esta carrera es muy importante para mí. Y voy a partir. Great words. <laughs> Long time in Leeds, filling this arena, giving this city some incredible nights. 
now goes to make history and try and become a two-time world champion in the arena on Saturday night. Josh, quite amazing turn of events. You look extremely well, extremely motivated, ready to make history on Saturday night. I'm excited, very, very excited. Some rights, at a different point, so on, so it's a good occasion. Some doubt, it kind of reminds me of four years ago when I first become world champion. Same kind of energy, and uh, I feel like the city is very excited for something like this. I know what's about to come. A world championship will be staying in Leeds, and uh, very grateful uh, to kick off giving the opportunity, but not staying here on Saturday night. It's an incredible turn of events, and, and you know, we have to thank Eco because he called this fight on. You know, he had the opportunity, people got that, there was a rematch, there was a unification, there was all these other opportunities. The one that he wanted was Josh Warrington back in Leeds. I know you would have gone to Spain for this opportunity, no problem, and so would part of Leeds as well. But he wanted to come here after your great fight last time. Shows a lot of confidence from the man as well, and we're expecting a great fight. I was just saying, uh, <laughs> I must have upset him in somewhere. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's marketing. I've said it in many big news. It's been how this sport works. It goes in circles. You know, we went to his fire partners for the, the initial library match. So he's one of the he's gone on to win the Bible world title. And he's the first defense since he won six to me. So um, it's yeah, confident. He's, he, I'm sure he'll agree with that. But um, I'll be ready for it. We've done on Sunday night. Uh, we trained for a, for a hard sort round fight. Um, you know, five years ago we, we shared some hard rounds, but that was five years ago. You know, I think my stock has risen since then, but we got better and better. And uh, you know, I love uh, the slip ups in the last year, but it's time to get back on top. I've seen you train very, very hard on this, but the fire certainly seems to be there. Is there also a fear factor that you know that the feet on Saturday night could spell the end of your career? You don't want this journey to end. You love the sport boxing and you train to, to make sure you leave no stone unturned and you win this fight and become two time world champion. I didn't even really thought about it to be honest with you. I know you mentioned it last time in the first person, but um, I like that in my head. I don't talk so many. Um, I don't keep those mentioning it himself. About uh, you know, coming out of retirement, putting himself under that pressure, I've spoken to somebody, and just having that arm raised, and that's how I see myself. Being like a reader, a lot of time being there, um, having that arm raised, I'm going to do it. I know, just fine, I know you're not overlooking Kiko Martinez, but you know, when we team back up together, the dream was a mega unification, a mega fight in America. You're one win away from just completely turning a 360 on the career after the defeat. To all of those dreams becoming true again. It's, it's a massive fight for you on Saturday. My book, my book, potentially be in Bargain Island after. It's a fucking mess. What a chapter that is. What a chapter. Um, it's on my hands, isn't it? I've got to do the business. Um, I have to do the business and you know, it's, it's keep on saying it. I know the sport works, but I'm going to make sure that my stars are aligned for a reason. And, could do all, go out there on Saturday night and, and do what I've all come. You know, I've, I've trained hard, I've worked hard, and I say I'm ready for anything. I'll say this opportunity to also say a massive thank you for those who are going to turn out on Saturday night. And like I say, 11th time we've, we've, we've been to the Leeds Arena, we've been to the Leeds Arena. Eight years, eight years we've been going in, we've been going there. I've been there, like I say, more time than fucking Tom Jones. You know, <laughs> These big singers from around the world, I've been there all the time with them guys. You know, and at one point, the sport that it's show, um, shown for me, you see it called the casual fans. You now they are fucking casual, they're loyal, they're real, that's what it is. And uh, they're going to be there on Saturday night making noise. And like I said, they're going to watch me become two time world champion. And this man says he's going to silence them. I mean, he's got full throttle, hasn't he? He's not looking to be friendly with them, he says he's going to. Silence the Leeds fans, you're going to be running after four or five rounds as well. Seems very confident. I've done lots of really good rounds and lots of, uh, you know, we've done plenty of rounds for all of the long fast. Thank you, Josh. Kiko, welcome back. Uh, you look in tremendous shape. I've never seen you so confident going into a fight. That victory last time out just giving you an incredible belief to do.
defend your world championship successfully on Saturday. Sí, por el libro, porque en primer lugar, en la pelea es muy buena forma, muy buena visto, con confianza, con mucha confianza, ya de cara a la pelea, eh, eso de ti es como una confianza increíble después de una victoria, es un más que un ministro, que es un ministro, que es un ministro, que es un ministro, que es un Muy buenas, Eli, muchísimas gracias por contar conmigo siempre, por estas oportunidades que, que me dais, y yo muy confiado, ¿no? yo creo que yo voy a ser campeón del mundo, y volví a hacer, ¿no? ya lo dije en varias ocasiones, dije que iba a ganar a cada antes del tiempo y igual que digo que voy a acabar con, con Joe Warrington antes del tiempo del sábado, porque sigo confiado, sigo creyendo en mí y sigo siendo Kiko Martínez. Yes, so thank you, Eddie, uh, for this opportunity. Thank you for all the occasions you counted me to come here. Yes, I'm really confident because, as I said last time, I was going to become world champion. I did it. I said I was going to be kick out of within the distance. I did. Uh, and the same will happen on Saturday. I will be uh, just warranted uh, within the distance. Uh, maybe he's too confident and he's not understanding that he's facing Kiko Martinez. That confidence that you have, all the fights that are available in the world, the rematch, unification fight, this is the fight that you wanted. You wanted to come back to Leeds and fight Josh Warrington. Why is that? Sí, de todas las peleas que podrían haber tenido, eh, unificar también eh, diferentes opciones, esa, esta pelea es la que querías. Sí. ¿Por qué querías esta pelea? Porque yo por ejemplo es un acosador conocido por todo el mundo. Eh, es, es un peleador que, que ha ganado a grandísimos peleadores como Franco, Selby, eh, Kalahar, eh, muchísimos más y creo que tiene un, todavía un nombre bastante alto en el, en el mundo del boxeo, está haciendo una gran pelea y ahora cuando hubo ese choque eh, con la cabeza, pero estaba haciendo una gran pelea y creo que es una persona todavía que tiene mucha credibilidad y que tengo que ganarle para, para coger esa credibilidad en el mundo del boxeo y vean que no es un golpe de suerte con cada Sí, yes, so, uh, because he's a great boxer, Josh Rowan is a great boxer. Um, he's won some fantastic fights in his career. He beat Francis himself, but he also beat the Gallagher and many, many more. And he's still a big name in boxing. Uh, I think he was doing well in the Lara fight until the accidental uh, clash of heads. Um, so he's, he's still got credibility in the world of boxing. And I'm going to go on to, be, to beat him to show that last time it wasn't just luck uh, when I won the world title against the Gallagher. You boxed before at the arena. There's going to be a lot more people there on Saturday night, completely full up. But this time, You've been very vocal to tell them you're going to silence them. Josh Warrington's going to run in this fight. You truly believe it will knock Josh Warrington out on Saturday night? Yes, I'm going to test that, but I'm going to test that. It's going to be a lot of people who are going to be a lot of people. But you've said that you're going to be a lot of the elite and also going to be a lot of people. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you can do that? Yes, I'm very happy. I've visualized it in the training camp que, que me va a ganar por nocaut y que solamente hay que decirlo con la boca para tenerlo bien puesto, no, para no solamente pensarlo, hay que decirlo para hacerlo. Entonces yo lo, voy a, yo lo digo, pero porque lo voy a hacer el, el sábado por la noche. Yes, I'm, I'm confident that I visualize this training, I visualize knocking uh, Josh Warrington out. And when I say something, I'll do it. So you can't just believe it and then not, not follow through and do it. When I say things, I'm going to do it and I'll do it. So. Well, thank you, Kiko. Thank you, Josh Warrington. An incredible night in Leeds. Trust me, this atmosphere is going to be off the charts. Coming back off with Lee Wood against Michael Conlon by Lee Wood, part of the broadcast this Saturday, live on the zone all around the world. Wherever you are, do not miss this fight. Check out Matchroom Boxing YouTube channel for all the build up of content going into a massive, massive show on Saturday. Tomorrow at the Queen's Hotel, 1 pm. Everybody welcome for the workout. Do not miss this show. Thank you to everyone who will be attending on Saturday. Enjoy yourself, behave yourself, and get ready for an incredible night all around the world on design. Head to heads up here, and then all the fights are available to the media. Thank you.